I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 1st of April, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And according to vidIQ, the number one thing that I should be doing on this particular channel based on searches is a day in the life of Scott Allen Miller. Seems like an odd choice to me, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So after the bump, we're gonna do a day in the life. Like most days, I get started and it is so busy that I'm not able to get to anything that I'm planning on. So this is actually my morning routine a little bit late because the moment I got up this morning, as is often the case, I immediately get pulled into an emergency. Also, anytime I start doing the recording, the dog starts freaking out because she stan can't stand me having an elevated voice because I sound more energetic and she thinks something's going on. So she runs around whimpering all the time. I start the day every day with coffee out here on the veranda and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit later in the day than I normally do, but this is still only my second cup of coffee. So I got started pretty early. This is our new furniture that just came in uh, the other day. And uh, so we're, we're still getting used to having this out here. Our old furniture is just around the corner over there. Uh, there's cleaning going on right now. This is just part of what it's like here at the house. There's always something going on, which is actually one of the reasons it's very hard for me to record is because there's so many people in so many places all the time, because this is kind of like a working office that no matter where I go in the house, no matter where I go in the yard, there's someone sitting watching me, I'm in the way or they're getting in, they're talking over me, something is always happening. So that's a huge part of just my constant challenge. Uh, and I spend most of the day especially first thing in the morning, locked in my office. I come out and I'm out here for about one or two hours. And then uh, I go into the office and I'm normally stuck there until about lunchtime. Then sometimes I'm able to get out and, and if I'm lucky, get out and explore and do some stuff. Uh, but, but pretty typically, I'm very busy in the morning because there's just a backlog of work and things that have happened during the night and that's when clients want to talk to you. And then in the middle of the day, if I'm lucky, I get a little bit of free time. So coffee and then around lunch, Sorry, I have to put that down because we don't have the table toppers yet. They have been ordered. I have quesadillas today. I'll just show them. These are uh, egg and cheese, uh, onions, green peppers, and uh, uh, something else. I can't even remember, um, but uh, delicious. And I come out, have lunch, uh, and then in my afternoons get crazy busy uh, always. It is the, the entire afternoon, and I block it off every day on my calendar. No one's allowed to make me appointments. I'm supposed to have free time for several hours to work on the show and stuff. And every day I get stuck on the phone with customers the entire evening. I can't get out to talk to people about food. I can't coordinate anything around the house. It's insane. But it's a beautiful day today and I have a moment to come out. So, and I have a quesadilla and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Mm. And now this is me in my office. This is where I spend the majority of my day. A lot of the year I keep the windows all open and it's all fresh air, but because it is April, this is the season of dust and extreme heat. Uh, so it is the worst possible time to try to be on open air. So because uh, this window here, which gives some great light, and actually I like, I think this is gonna work out pretty decently for recording. Although I do have to white balance because the, the back of the room is so, so I get to do this, but it's uh, with this window, there's actually some great light here and you can just see, I, can, I guess I can, I've got a studio lamp up there that you can see and I think you can see Mia hanging out down there on the ground. I'm actually on a tripod, but a loose one that I can kind of move around. And I actually like this and the, when I'm using the Olympus for indoor recording, like I did on my uh, uh, History of the Name of the Americas video, that's right behind this GoPro. But that one I did with that light at night and it was turned yellow, that was probably a mistake. The walls in here are yellow, that's the biggest problem. I, I gotta get decorations up, we're waiting on that. I gotta get furniture in here, so it's very echoey. But normally it would be open, open door there behind me and an uh, open door to the outside there and these huge windows which I normally open up. And so on three sides, it's just open air and it's very nice. But right now, because it's April, I'm on air conditioning. So this is the first I've done air conditioning uh, more than one or two days um, for several months and I'll go back in May, I assume, to fresh air again. Um, but it gets so dusty that my desk is just covered in dust, uh, even though there's screens on the window, there's so much blows in. So that's, uh, that's kind of how that is. Now, 
this is, I spend most of my day working with clients. I'm on the phone a lot. I've got a couple different phones. Um, I do programming, I do systems administration, I do tons of discussing needs with clients. Um, and then I try, uh, when possible, um, I spend a lot of the day either uploading videos, uh, downloading files, um, I'll have Final Cut Pro open, and once in a while I'll go over and do a little bit of editing. Um, I try to back up all my files and get as much of that done throughout the day as possible so that I'm ready in the evening to sit down and be productive making the videos for the day, because there just isn't enough time to get to everything. So that is uh, that is pretty much what my day is. I know it's not very exciting, but this is my office and this is where I am. Um, and right now I'm recording, it's about noon. Uh, we're gonna have to run to Migracion today, so that's a little bit different than my everyday that we have that that we need to do. Uh, but that's, there's always an errand, there's always something going on uh, that needs, needs our attention. Last night, for example, we went out to dinner at El Sisteo uh, and, and had wine with, with April and some friends, some, some viewers of the channel, uh, and hung out there, and then I came back uh, and was here and working there's just, there's just a lot going on, um, and work is very, very busy, which is generally a good thing. Uh, today, for example, I have two new hires, and we're setting them up and working with clients on some uh, really important scripting and automation stuff, uh, and, and I also do a lot of dealing with, with account stuff and, and that kind of thing. So I'm, very, I'm spread very thin, which as many of you know, uh, plus then the show on top of it, so I stay uh, extraordinarily busy. So this is my day. All right, my day in the life continues. We are heading out to Migracion because we just have to pick up our passport. So quick errands to run, but little things like this come up a lot of days. So that's what we're doing today. That means a week ago, we went to Migracion and filed for our 30-day extension. You can see my video where I explain how that works and the border runs and all that stuff. And then a week later, we go and just pick up our passport. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, then I'm gonna head back home, get some lunch. All right, more of my day in the life. This is pretty much typical for me every single day it does not matter how much i do i block off my calendar to make sure that no one can book things for me in the evenings i make sure that i schedule nothing i know starting at three o'clock i need to be wide open it is my only chance to get video editing done it is my only chance to get um uh, to go out and go for a walk because from the moment i get to my office in the morning people need me as fast as they can contact me all morning and then there's always an errand like going to deal with the the passports today something is always needed and no matter how much we do no matter how much staff we have here to take care of things for some reason the kids are unable to order food without me going out to order it um, I have to I have to organize dinner no one can organize dinner without me at five o'clock even though it's scheduled and the menu is prepared and they make the food just telling the kids that there's food or getting the kids to come out and eat the food is impossible. It's, I'm recording this now at six o'clock and the food is sitting on the stove because no one could put the food and the kids together. And this is not a one-time thing. This is like almost a month that not once have they been able to do it without me getting the kids, but not once that I can remember have I been able to get off of the phone and away from my office before 6 p.m. With everything blocked off, somehow from normally about two, but always by three until six or seven at night, I have to be on the phone with employees or customers who that is the only time that they can talk to me. And that's it. Like that is, that is my afternoon. So every day, and you can hear the frustration in my voice, this is killing me that the one time a day that I spend the whole morning trying to be productive, I get all this work done. And then the one time I set aside for myself is for some reason, and it's all different people, it's all different things, but it is without exception every single day, the entire end of the day for hours and hours and hours. And today it was the most ridiculous thing that should never have required anybody's help, let alone my help as an escalation point, but a whole bunch of wiring with a customer that spent, and, and you, you can see the, the hyperlapse, hopefully, of just hours spent trying to trace wires and say, okay, take this wire out and put it in there. And then they go do something else. And I have to say, I know you didn't do the thing I said, go do the thing I said. Oh, well, I did this, okay, don't do that thing, go do the thing I said. And just hours and hours, completely wasted all the time. So that is my, my incredibly frustrating afternoons and I, I can't come up with any way to solve it in any direction. I can't figure out any way to get someone to handle feeding the kids without my direct intervention. I, the kids will not set a clock and just go eat the food that they know is sitting out there waiting for them. 
it's it's crazy. I uh, so so frustrating. So now it's about six o'clock. And so every day, somewhere around this point, things start to get lighter and I'm able to either start considering, but normally many, many, many days, uh, we wanna go out to dinner or wanna go out to do something. And actually about this time we have to start getting ready. Maybe I have about an hour, but often we have to start getting ready because there's, there's only so much time before you go out, say at eight o'clock to get a table. And if someplace is busy, like a Via Via with a major event, we gotta get out by seven, maybe 7.30. And so I'm actually kind of rushing to get away from the desk uh, to have any hope of getting to uh, getting to there and getting a table and everything. So um, I, I'm often rushing uh, to get out and go to that. This evening, I'm trying very hard not to go anywhere. Food is already made cold, of course. That's the other thing is I would like my dinner hot. I have not been able to have a hot dinner in a really long time because it gets made at five o'clock, scheduled every day. And no matter how much Again, I make sure that five o'clock is never allowed to be used on my schedule. Never am I available anywhere close to it, anywhere close to it. The amount that the team needs me, I find, I find very difficult because it's, it's years of, of unrelenting. Um, somehow it always has to escalate to me every day. And there's lots of people. And as the team gets better and the team grows, it's still new people need to escalate to me every day or new projects need to escalate to me. So. That is, that is very difficult. Um, so that is, uh, that is where we are right now. Uh, I'm gonna go record some other things, try to get some more work done, and uh, we'll catch back up later in the evening. Doing my Duolingo every day is a huge part of my day, and it's only about 10 minutes, but I do it every day. I haven't missed in over three years, so that's part of my routine that I work really hard to do. All right, I don't know if today was a great day to do a day in the life, Maybe it was the best, maybe it was the worst, but it definitely gives you a feel for what my days are like. Obviously, a lot of days I go out and go, uh, go hiking and show you part of the city uh, or the country or the, the beach or whatever. And today I did not have a chance to do that at all, but I think that's important to see. that I'm, I'm really struggling a lot of days to get out uh, and do filming for you guys. Um, and I, it's, I love doing it, I really want to do it, but boy, do I work hard uh, to find time to be able to do that uh, because it's just, it's just so busy. Today was an exceptionally busy day, and actually I was, I was scrambling there to get my, uh, my Duolingo done. I'm actually recording this last section at 11.30 at night. I have not left my desk yet. I got up just a little bit. Um, so to give you the scope, the last time I recorded for you was middle of the afternoon, I believe, and then I was basically on the phone continuously from 3 p.m. until after 9 p.m. At about 9.15, I finally got a chance to step up from my desk. I went out, got some cold leftover food that was sitting out, said hello to everyone, um, and then came back. I was only at about 15 minutes, came back, and I've been at my desk for the last two hours getting office work done. I actually have lots of work that needs to be done, whether it's uh, editing the videos, uploading things, doing some work at the office, answering emails, getting back to some of you guys. Um, and so I'm trying to do that sitting at my desk. I have been, except for going to Migracion in the middle of the afternoon and the occasional getting up to walk around the house, I have been working since about 7.30 this morning and are st and still hours left to go at 11.30 at night. So this is an example of, of how long some of my days are. My original plan had been to hang out with the kids tonight. That completely did not happen. We have house guests. I've not seen them at all. Uh, it's, it's been rough. Um, and most everyone has already gone to bed at this point. I'm just up trying to get enough work caught up on so that I'm ready for tomorrow. I, and, and it's easy to, to think, well, can't you just go to bed and do it? To, no, I can't do it tomorrow because every day is like this. I have to be very careful. I, I get backed up and, and then I never get to sleep trying to catch up. And this is why uh, I'm very, very adamant about not going out too much. Um, I do like to spend weekends a bit at home because it gives me a chance to do things that I'm not able to do during the week. Otherwise, I get just so far behind. Because uh, I do, I, and people do say, how do I do all the things that I do? Well, this is partially how I'm extremely busy. Um, but I think people don't realize when they hear of all the things that I do, they don't realize just how much I spend doing an office job that I rarely talk about. I mean, I talk about it all the time, but I don't really go into details. And um, quite often that will be 
12 hours of that job in a day where I never get to step away from the desk. I never get to disengage my brain. I never get a moment of peace because um, from morning until night, I just have, and today I had an employee who said, oh, we've had a thing we've been waiting to get to for a week. It's not a big thing. It's something that can be pushed off, but we've been pushing it off for a week. He's going out on vacation tomorrow. We were supposed to work on it together. It was like, oh sure, let's do it today. There's not a single thing on my calendar today. That was first thing this morning. And here we are 1130 at night. He's already gone on vacation. I didn't even get a chance to think about when we could schedule it. Never, never entered the realm of possibility, right? Because, because new issues come up so often. Uh, and that, that really defines uh, my time, um, so much of it. And that's uh, my working life is one that I, I, I refer to as being event driven. Nothing gets put on my schedule ahead of time. You say, what do I have planned for tomorrow? Nothing, my day's open, right? I may have one or two little things I know I wanna touch on. But in general, I've got nothing. And the reality is, is I know I will get to my desk tomorrow. And by the time I sit down, there will already be something waiting for me. And it'll be a scramble to get everything done by the end of the day, even though it's all things that haven't happened yet, right? All things I just have to take care of tomorrow. And somehow it just manages to be a full day every day, uh, just about. So that is, that is pretty indicative of what my life is often like. It'd be nice if I also did one of these on a day when I didn't have it get so busy like this and I got to go out for a long walk and get some time outside, do some videos for you guys. But of course you see those videos on the times that I'm out walking. This is what it's like in between those times, right? Um, and obviously a lot of people are interested in moving to Nicaragua and it's like, is it, isn't it a really hectic lifestyle? Trust me, this is so much less hectic than it was when I lived in the United States. I still worked the same job, uh, but I had all the overhead of being in America as well. So this is my awkward, weird look at my day in the life. Um, you know, yesterday would have been more interesting. We went out to dinner. Uh, there's just a lot. Of, every day really does vary a lot. I don't have this really specific day, but when I get really busy, this is pretty much what my day is like. I am kind of enjoying having this GoPro on the table with this light. I don't think it turns out too badly. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'm going to throw up the make sure we get the right color here because sometimes I do it in this room gets weird colors. So I'm going to take the time to actually use the white card. Um, if you're interested in more, more videos like this, let me know, get down to the comments. If you don't like this, that's how I'm going to find out. Get down there. Um, tell me what you think and uh, provide some input, ask your questions. If you'd like to support the channel, I'm going to put it right up here. Buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. That's how you can help me get out of this office and not spend so much time here. Uh, and of course, like subscribe, Share on social media, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, whatever. I don't, does anybody use Twitter anymore? I don't think so. Get out there, post, let people know about the show, get it on those expat groups. If you know people, share it with them, send them an email, say, check this guy out. That stuff really helps. And we're really close to hitting that 3000 subscriber mark. So let's get there. That'd be awesome. Uh, maybe even by the time you see this video, that'd be really ambitious, but within a few days. And uh, thanks for joining me. I will see all of you tomorrow.